History of Southern Missouri and Northern Arkansas by William Monks Published in 1907 Battle at Mammoth Spring Number 39 Colonel Wood, commanding the 6th Missouri Cavalry, left Rolla on the 7th day of March 1862, with about 250 men for the purpose of making a scout south into the counties of Oregon and Howell and Fulton County, Arkansas, to ascertain the strength of the rebel forces in that portion of the country, reached Licking and went into camp. The next morning he broke camp and marched to Jack's Fork in Shannon County, and on the morning of the ninth, marched to Thomasville. On the 10th, he marched to Mammoth Spring, Arkansas. On reaching Mammoth Spring, they learned that there was a rebel force in camp on the south fork of Spring River just below Salem, and on the morning of the 11th, they broke camp and marched upon the rebels. On reaching the rebel encampment, they found they had cut timber and blockaded the road, so that it was impossible to reach the forces except on foot. In coming within a few hundred yards of the rebels, lying concealed behind the timbers, they opened fire upon the advance of the Federal forces. The Federal forces had two small pieces of artillery that they unlimbered and brought into use. The rebels, having no artillery, were soon dislodged from the first line of works, and they stubbornly fell back about one quarter of a mile and went in behind the second fortifications that had been hurriedly erected. After fighting for an hour and a half or two hours, the Federal force being greatly outnumbered and the rebels having themselves so obstructed, Colonel Wood saw that it was useless to further continue the fight and retreated. On the next night, he reached Howell Valley just below West Plains, and went into camp, and on the morning of the 13th, they broke camp and marched in the direction of Houston, Missouri, reaching Houston sometime after night. The Federal loss in the battle referred to was seven killed and wounded. The Confederate loss was said to be 25 or 30 killed and wounded. Colonels Coleman and Woodside were commanding the Confederates. Colonel Woods, being in command of the post at Houston, Learning that there was considerable of a rebel force standing at West Plains, Missouri, under the command of Coleman and others, organized a scout and on the 24th day of February 1862, broke camp and marched in the direction of West Plains for the purpose of attacking the rebel forces stationed at that place. Taking two small mounted howitzers strapped on mules, made a forced march, and in the early part of the day on the 25th reached West Plains. West Plains had a frame courthouse in the center of the square where the present courthouse is located. The road at that time led due north where Washington Avenue is located until it struck the hill. Also, there was a road which led east where East Main Street is now located, and on Pison, what was known as the Thomas Howell Farm, turned directly north in the direction of Gunner's Valley. The rebels had a strong picket thrown out on both roads. A part of the rebel command was quartered in the courthouse. Woods, being advised of the conditions of the rebels and where they were all quartered, supposing that they would take advantage of the courthouse when the attack was made, selected a high position where the road first struck the hill, planted his artillery, divided his forces and made a flank movement, ordered them to strike the lower road and advance on the pickets, and as soon as they were fired upon, to charge them, while he would remain with the other part of the force in readiness to dislodge them with his artillery in case they used the courthouse as a fortification. On the advance coming inside of the rebel pickets, they fired and retreated with the Federal forces pursuing. The rebel forces at once rallied their forces and took possession of the courthouse. As soon as Colonel Wood saw them file into the house, he leveled his cannon and 
fired a shell which struck the house near its center and passed clear through. That was the first artillery that the rebel command ever had heard. They filed out of the house faster than they went into it. Then, Colonel Woods moved with his forces directly upon the forces near the courthouse when a general engagement ensued. The rebels retreated west on the road near where West Main Street is now located, and a running fight was continued for about one mile when Woods abandoned the pursuit, marched back into West Plains, and again returned to Houston. The losses on both sides were light, several, however, being killed or wounded. 